Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's our third example of how we deal with stress and strain in the shear sense by shearing things off. Now notice the shear module simply says that there's a ratio between the force applied to material and the deformation when you push it to the side. Kind of actually have a nice little textbook sitting here. It's a physics book, tends to be very big in size, but notice this was a, this is a solid material. Uh, of course, with the pages, it doesn't make it so solid. But if we push on the force like this, notice how the book gets deformed. Materials get deformed like that, and that's what we talk about when we talk about the shear modulus, the amount of deformation in this direction x as a result of the height of the material and the cross-sectional area of the material. However, in industry, we tend to look at things more in terms of just the shear stress. The amount of force required to punch a hole through a sheet of material or to chop off a piece of material. So here we're going to do an example of how to punch a hole through a steel plate. Let's say the steel plate is 5 millimeters thick and we want to punch a hole with a diameter of 4.2 centimeters. That's almost 2 inches. And how much force will be required by the punch to do so? So again, definition, shear stress is the force divided by the area. So if we want to know the force, we say force is equal to the shear stress times the area. Now the area of a cut like that, of a cut hole, is simply the area of the side of the cutout. So the area of the side of the cutout, if you think about the side, is simply a strip that goes around the cutout like that. That would be the hole right there. You have the thickness of the cutout, which is the same as the thickness of the steel. And then of course the circumference of the cutout is the circumference of the hole that you're making. So the area in this case would be equal to the circumference 2 pi r times the thickness t. That would be the area. And of course in this case uh, the radius of the cutout would be half the diameter. That means the radius is equal to 2.1 centimeters if the diameter twice the radius is 4.2 centimeters. Alright, now next we need to go ahead and plug that in here. Since we're dealing with steel and we have the shear stress for steel which is 4.0 times 10 to the 8 newtons per meter squared, then we multiply times the area, which we, would be 2 pi times the radius, and we said the radius is 2.1 centimeters, convert to meters is 0 0.021 meters, and of course the thickness, 5 millimeters convert to meters, remember it's 1,000 millimeters in a meter, is 0 0.005 meters, 5 one-thousandth of a meter. So now we can calculate the force required to punch a hole in a steel plate like that. So it'll be 4e to the 8 times 2 times pi times 0 0.021 and times 0 0.005 equals, and that's still a formidable force of 264,000 newtons. Okay, convert that to pounds, remember, because pounds means more to some people than others, so one pound is equivalent to about 4.48 newtons, roughly speaking, and so if we divide that by 4.48, we get 58,900 pounds. That's quite a bit of force. So if you build a punch press like that, you want to punch holes through sheets of metal that are 5 millimeters thick, half a centimeter, that requires quite a bit of force. But that's how we calculate that, and that's how that's related to the shear stress and the shear modules.